We are moving to Sunday morning, and we have another London game. We have got 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, the Dolphins at the Jaguars, and I got to tell you, we would not be talking about this game if it were not for the fact that it is in a standalone window on Sunday morning. The Jags are a three-and-a-half-point underdog here, total of 47. Miami won this game 31-13 to last year. Uh, this is a 1-4 and four team with the Dolphins, 2-3 and three against the spread against an 0-5 Jaguars team that is 1-4 and four against the spread, and there are so many reports out that Urban Meyer has just lost this team. They do not want to play for this guy. He legit might be a one and done. I I honestly thought he would get at least two years, and I don't know that you can give him the, the whole season here because these guys don't want to play for Urban Meyer, and Miami at least has some sense of stability with their team. You know, it's not that they're a good team right now, especially, I mean, if you look at DVOA, total DVOA, Miami's number 30 in the league as far as efficiency goes, and Jacksonville number 31. I <laughs> I feel like Miami is just the more stable team. I know what I'm going to get out of them, and and that's why I'm going to roll with them. Like I, I hate the hook here, but I don't, I don't think I care. I think Miami needs a win in a bad way, and they are still a better football team than the Jaguars. So give me the Dolphins minus three and a half here. Yeah, at some point in time, the Jaguars are going to get a win, and nobody's going to expect it or see it, and, and, and it's going to be in spite of Urban. And, and and it could be a trip to London, you know, with the team to kind of help, you know, bury some hatchets, you know, throw yourself in front of the team and just say, guys, what what do I got to do to get it back? Like, what do I got to – because I know it wasn't the girl dancing on my cross that lost it for me, okay? Like, everybody in the world knows that that's not why he lost the team. It's It's something he is doing – that's caused him to lose the team. And maybe he can build a relationship with some of the leaders on that team over this trip to kind of figure out how to get it back. But I don't know that that happens this week. And uh, and we'll see. I mean, we, we definitely will. You riding Dolphins or uh, are you taking Jags? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. At some point in time, the Jags are going to bite us, though. We can't just keep betting against them because one day they're going to bite our ass. No, you, you were not wrong about that. However, uh, I mean, it, it, since we are picking these games, you know, individually, there ain't no way I'm going to take the Jags. There is no chance there. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.